Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Magenta. And Magenta tells us that she was raised Christian and a rather narrow form of Christianity at that. As she has grown older and matured in life, she has changed her religion. And most of the points of view that her original religion held are not the points of view she holds now. However, she does find that she's still very attached to some of the religious music that she grew up with. And she points out that the ones that she likes often don't really reference religious principles much at all, but have more to do with the emotional connection to spirit. And she finds that she likes to incorporate these in her religious practice, but she thinks of them as being dedicated to goddess. Uh, rather than the Judeo-Christian God when she uses them. Her question is, is it wrong of her to do this, since this is not what those songs were originally meant for? My answer to that is I really don't see any problem with it at all. I would say that if this is a way that you find yourself comfortable expressing your devotion, there's nothing wrong with that. And if you love these particular songs, well, you're free to love them as far as I'm concerned. And I see nothing wrong with it. Obviously, some members of your former religion might feel differently, but you're asking me, not them, and I see no problem. What I would say is that music is very important to human beings, and I think that music can be very important to many people's spirituality. And I think that we need a lot more music in the pagan community, and particularly more original music. Very often you will see people creating new words for older melodies, and there's nothing inherently wrong with that. But I think it's much better to create an entirely new work. And I really hope that in coming years we'll see more pagan musicians doing exactly that, and creating songs that are as classic and as meaningful to our people as older works from other religions are for their people. But even so, I think that music is very much a personal taste, as is spirituality. And if these songs help you to express your new spirituality, even though they come out of your old spirituality, well, they're still helping you to express your spirituality, and I really don't see anything wrong with that. One of the questions we sometimes get asked at the vlog, which I've answered a few times, is about the idea that the Christians stole all our stuff. And the answer I frequently make to that is that, yes, there is a lot of ancient paganism that was adopted by Christianity, but I'd rather think of it as sharing. And this would be subject to that same answer. I don't see anything wrong with sharing elements of spirituality with other religions, whether it's Christianity or Hinduism or Taoism or any that you might name. So if it helps your spirituality, I think it's a good thing. So that would be my answer to that. I hope you find it helpful. And until next time, may you blessed be. Reverend Don, Super Omnibus of Incantations and Invocations for All Occasions. Marianne Kay and I created this massive compendium of magic and artwork for you to use in any way that you would like. There are literally hundreds of spells and hundreds of illustrations, which can be mixed and matched and used in many different ways. Check it out now at witchgoolstore.com.